hello and welcome everyone to this new video on azure and today i'll show you how you will add a file server to your existing domain in the azure region so if you've been following this track uh, you know that uh, we are building everything from the scratch in our previous video we installed domain controller with the name dc2016 by using uh, server 2016 data center edition and we install all the good stuff which comes with the dc such as dns role active directory domain services and all those things and the uh, other thing that i've done is that i have spun up another machine with the name file server 2016 which will be adding to our domain with the name shama.com i went through the same procedure for the domain controller but in this case i have used the a series uh, virtual machine but make sure that it is within the same virtual network resource group that we use while deploying the domain controller and uh, another thing that I have done is that uh, I've also given a static IP address to my domain controller. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. So if I expand my domain controller under the settings, I will go to the network interface, expand this line. And as you can see that uh, my IP address for my domain controller is 10.0.2.10 which is static. It was previously dynamic so I just move it to static and I save the configuration. You might need to restart your server. And after I have done the, uh, that part I went to the DNS server and uh, from the inherit from virtual network I changed it to custom and provided the DNS server because this domain controller is also acting as a DNS server. So that part I've already done. So now let's add the file server to our domain controller. So let me just connect to the RDP session of my file server. And if I go to the local server, you will see that uh, this machine is not part of any domain. It is in work group. So I'll click on the work group. And on this page, I'll click on the change button. And in the domain, I'll make it uh, sharma.com click on the ok button and here I need to provide the uh, credentials so if you remember my admin account is with the name Kirish and uh, I'll provide the password click on the ok button Here we go and it says welcome to the sharma.com domain so if I click on ok and uh, I will need to restart my computer so let me just come out of this restart now So let me try to connect. I think the machine is still restarting so we'll just wait for a moment and when the machine is up and running and the credential that we'll be using so we'll be uh, getting into the virtual machine by using the domain credential which is Sharma uh, with the uh, backslash with the name Grish and the uh, password. Ok, 
okay so let me use another account and give the domain name the administrator name which is Grish for the potential click yes We are waiting for the machine to boot up. So if I go to my local server you can see that we have successfully joined this file server to our domain with the name shama.com. So this video was dedicated on how to add your file server to your existing domain in Azure. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.